for this election. Now she to brown eye in the winter. Cause she don't want to be dragged out. We're supposed to. Ahead of the general elections, the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate for Delta State House of Assembly in Nudu constituency, Honorable Chief G.T. Brown, stormed the area with a novel and strategic campaign method. The strategy is called advancing the campaign. For six days, the advancing campaign of Honorable Chief G.T. Brown visited and consulted with the Elders Council led by the Pakwiriri as well as the Egwea Animated women groups led by the Ekpakure Weya in the 32 communities of the constituency. The Capitri began its consultation tour on February 6 from Alaga to Ayama and Epame. On the same day, the elders of women groups of Otoodu and Nigini communities felt the vibes of the advancing campaign of Honorable Chief Jute Brown as they blessed the ambitions of Honorable Chief Jute Brown and all other PDP candidates. <laughs> Speaking on the novel idea invented by Honorable Chief Jute Brown, a member of the PDP in Udu, Ologu Obikyoge Nejiru, said that the Air Force had pulled the party ahead of its rivals. They have a lot to gain from the PDP. As Kri Ayama and the people are saying that if not PDP, they are not going anywhere. All what they need is PDP. So do people should vote for Jute because during the short time of Jute, as a council chairman, we experience massive appointment in terms of SAEA. We do have been neglected, we have been backward in everything. Even in election, we don't with the counters of opposition. But the short time did come in because all the youth, everybody can assess it. Without tools, we work for it. So we are enjoying the dividends of, of, of PDP. Now we have known and we are convinced nobody will defeat us, deceive us again. Once we vote for PDP, we know massive development are coming because we do is behind in social amenities and development. So we have a lot of benefit from people we voted for. So we do have decided to vote for PDP 5 over 5. It was homecoming on day 2 for the PDP candidate, Honorable Chief G.T. Brown, and his lively team 
as elders of women groups of Ogrode, Obodokpokpo, Erevio, Ogrio, Okwiri, and Delta State Township came out in numbers to throw their weight, support, and prayers behind the 5 over 5 PDP mandate in Udu local government area. <laughs> On the third day, the advanced campaign took the gospel of Beta Odu constituency, Delta State, and Nigeria through the PDP in the forthcoming elections to the elderly fathers and mothers of Okolo Iland, Okolo Waterside, Ubudu, Ubogo, and Ubisi communities. Elders and women groups of these communities could not hide their joy for Honorable Chief G.T. Brown's visit. They said the PDB candidate for the Delta State House of Assembly, Honorable Chief G.T. Brown, was the first contestant in the history of Udu local government area to give them exclusive honor of visiting them and recognition. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
On Thursday, which was a fourth day, the train hit in Madaga, Ekrota, Ukmehere, Obubu, and Ujewu communities where Honorable Chief Jitter Brown received a rousing welcome from the elders and women groups. Elders men, popularly called Ekpakurere, and elders women, also called Ekpakure Weya, of each community bless the aspiration of the PDP candidate for the Delta Status of Assembly in Nudu constituency and other candidates of the party. <laughs> Accompanied by big wings of the PDP in the local government area, the advancing campaign was at Opete, Okbaka, Ikete, Owase, and Oya communities to receive the prayers and blessings of the elders and women groups for all PDP candidates ahead of the general elections. <laughs> Party leaders in the communities visited, including the Commissioner for Special Duties, Government as Asaba, Chief Henry Sakra, Ologo Malfi Opara, popularly called Ogeku, 
and Comrade Lawson Agberia emphasized that the strategy adopted by Honorable Chief G.T. Brown has changed the political narratives in favor of the PDP in Udu constituency. Honorable G.T. is ravaging the nooks and crannies of Udu by today seeing the eldest woman of every community, eldest man of every community with their executive. I think I can say it's the right thing he's doing in the right direction. He is making waves already. I think uh, we are praying to God to consummate our activities so that it will materialize into votes for the PDP family. It's, it is first time we are getting it right. What he has done is going to help us drastically. Drastically, it's going to help us. We have not done this before, and it's the first time, and we are getting it right. So we want to thank the people of Udu. We know with GT Brand, we will deliver Udu five over five. Uh, I want to highly commend uh, the initiator of what we are doing by seeing the elderly men and uh, followers and uh, the women folks as well. And it's really paving ways. I say, what I've seen now, the PDP have better chances. In order for good things to come to our community, we have to support PDP 5 over 5. And this time around, when Oya don't ready to give PDP block vote, so I believe say everything we want for Oya community, they will give us to us. I mean, you know, that so. We get different roads, so many. All our children, we don't graduate, we don't get employment. There are many. We need to ask government. But before we go be ask them, we need to give them something. I mean, that so. This vote we won't give them so. Now go feel make us get chance to ask of something. This time around, I want to beg my leaders, my elders, make we join body together. Make we make sure say, oh, we are become first amongst all who do to give block vote to PDP. On the sixth and final day, Honorable Chief G.J. Brown led the advancing campaign trail to visit and receive the blessings of the elders and women groups of Oruwur, the existing township, Igbogidi, Igegi, and Oleri communities. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 
Top down, Speaking there the six days of the advancing campaign consultations to elders and women groups in the 32 Udu communities, the PDP candidate for the Delta State of Assembly, Honorable Chief Duty Brown, thanked the people for their warm reception and saw their prayers, saying, he values the prayers of the victory of all PDP candidates at the February 25 and March 11 general elections. Honorable Chief G.T. Brown explained to them that their various communities vis-a-vis Udu local government area will benefit a lot when Atiku Okoa win the presidency, Igo Yota Mori wins Data Central Central State, Solomon Awinawi for House of Representatives come February 25. Honorable Chief G.T. Brown appealed to the people of Udu local government to elect Sheriff Oborewori as Delta State Governor and he served for the Delta State House of Assembly on the March 11 elections. We should see ourselves as people who are contesting this election because it will favor our youth and it will favor the development of this community. There is so much to put together. This opportunity is an opportunity that nobody should take for granted who want to play. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. We've been here before to meet with the leadership. I will discuss at length. And we also felt it's important to meet with our fathers to get blessings from them, to get prayers from them, so that no stone will be left unturned because we want to win this election. Also speaking, the Director General of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Campaign Council, in Udu local government, Elegbeta Moses Odibo, said that the strategy would deepen the relationship with the grassroots. And we also call on our people to vote PDP in Delta State beyond 2023. Yes, yes. We cannot afford to reinforce failure by voting the APC for any reason. PDP over the years in Delta State has performed creditably well in the area of infrastructure, management of the na nation's economy, security of lives, and property. We, the people of Udu, must encourage the PDP with their votes to ensure more of these projects are brought to Udu in the coming year. We cannot forget the office complex for legislative officers of the council currently under construction at Otontu. Many water projects in several good communities, security vehicles provided by the local government administration to facilitate quick response of the security agents to security issues in the do, environmental health intervention, and many other sectors in which the PDP administrations 
our state and local government have been impacted positively in the lives of the people. Honorable Chief Jitu Brown has also met with executives of all the 32 communities in Udu local government area to solicit their support for the PDP. From all indications, the opposition in Udu local government area has been swept off its feet as the People's Democratic Party PDP is now at an advantage position ahead of the polls through the emergence and ingenuity of Honorable Chief G.T. Brown as a PDP candidate for the Delta Status of Assembly Udu Constit Wednesday. <laughs> Now we 